but let's just focus and let's talk about really what's happening within the realty pack because really this has been the darling of the market and all of the experts that we speak with they believe uh, that it's not the end of the party in fact nowhere near that and this is a multi-decadal uh, bull run within the realty pack that we are bound to see so let's welcome on board nirupa shankar from brigade enterprises to talk about exactly that nirupa hi great to have you in the show you know before we talk about the specifics of the company help us understand the buzz that we are hearing about the potential land monetization plan from the karnataka government if reports are to be believed the siddaramaiah government is looking to monetize land parcels worth about 25000 acres around uh, bangalore i mean do private uh, developers such as you i'm guessing do stand to gain from this plan yeah currently i think uh, with the way the real estate market is doing there's a huge uh, requirement for additional lands based on the kind of demand that we are seeing uh, for us currently the way we are looking at our uh, enhancing our land bank is uh basically through a lot of joint developments and there are some uh land parcels that come up for auction so then we try to bid for those as well so it's a combination for us for outright and joint developments but so much of land if it comes out wouldn't that have an impact on the supply and ultimately then the underlying prices uh i don't necessarily think so it mean it will probably come out in a phased manner it won't come out all at once and uh, currently since the demand is fairly strong um i think the 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 land monetization will happen in a more phased manner so it should uh it should keep up with the way the demand is going but that said you know as of now um uh, demand is looking good we'll have to see how it uh, continues in the years to come uh typically what we see is that for instance q1 is typically a little slower than the last four quarters or q4 of the previous year so uh um, yeah we, we'll have to wait and watch and see how this land monetization actually comes into the market and how it's pushed into the market so one is demand second is price so is demand mm -hmm. coming at higher prices or demand is coming and price hikes have not happened price hikes have certainly happened what we are seeing is that uh, there has been a pretty a uh, good price absorption for instance uh, what we saw last year was almost a 23% uh, price hike uh, from our average realizations and this was uh, the market was able to absorb this uh, one of the reasons for the absorption of the price hike is because there's also a very low inventory overhang currently we have less than four quarters worth of inventory overhang so there is a decent amount of demand and uh, the sales cycle is basically shortening uh so for instance it used to be say uh you know sales cycles would be over 3 years or so and now we're trying to shorten it into 18 months because uh there is scope for a price increase we're able to get the realizations we want and uh there is sufficient demand despite this increase in prices so we expect that even uh this coming year that prices you we will be able to increase the prices whether or not it's by 20% 25% that is yet to be determined but uh, i think a 10 to 15% in price increase should be um, possible so demand is strong and you're anticipating a further room to increase the prices by 10 to 15% clearly a great time for the real estate players but i wanted to talk to you about a couple of those projects that you've launched wtc in kochi as well as the mix use uh, project that you've launched in chennai what's the kind of revenue potential and when does it start hitting the books so for let me just start with the world trade center uh, kochi so for us uh, we've been in that market for some time now so this is the third wing of the world trade center kochi so we it's it's a total of about 1 million square feet now the wing 1 and 2 were about 700000 square feet and now the wing 3 will be about 2 and a half uh, close to 3000 square feet so um i think there's the additional investment that we plan to make is about 120 crores and overall that project should be able to give us at least uh, 75 crores per annum in terms of our rental revenue and uh, apart from that we are also launching um, a project in trivandrum called brigade square and techno park phase 1 so that again is a smallish project but it's a non sez project and it would be our first foray into trivandrum uh, we believe that you know these the tier 2 market story um, uh, there is still a story to be told there currently all the focus has been on tier 1 markets which are the primary economic drivers for uh, our businesses but i guess the tier 2 markets is something that cannot be ignored because um, 
a lot of our clients are looking um, at the tier two markets, especially post COVID. There was a reverse migration to the tier two markets, so there definitely is some uh, demand for office in tier two, and hence our uh, desire to also create some office spaces in the tier two markets. Uh, with regards to Brigade Icon, we've just received the RERA application, so we will be launching that. Uh, we will be launching that hopefully this quarter. There is a historical correlation which is in Bangalore. Bangalore is IT. IT is job creation. Job creation leads to more demand. Hiring numbers are not looking strong. Job creation is not happening. Wage hikes are not great for the IT sector per se. Could that have impact on demand per se, at least in the Bangalore region? So yes, I think historically IT has been the primary demand driver for office and resulting in that also residential. But I think now um, the the focus is now on GCCs, the global capability centers that various companies are setting up. In fact, uh, the revenues uh, from GCCs is, uh, I think there was an article that said almost $46 uh, billion, which is slated to go up to almost uh, or double or triple that in the next few years. So there is a large demand from GCCs, and this should, um, this should also be a driver for office space and thereby also resulting in the demand for residential as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, for Brigade in three years from now, how much revenue are you projecting to come, let's say, from the Bangalore region? How much would be non-Bangalore? See, currently, um, currently, I would say in FY24, almost 90% of the projects were uh, from the Bangalore region. But again, if we just look at the way our launches are coming up in this year, um, we are expecting about 60% of the business to be from Bangalore and uh, the balance split between mostly Hyderabad and Chennai. Of course, markets like Kuchi are also there. But I would say, for instance, if we look at the residential segment, we, are launch we, we plan to launch about 12 and a half million square feet. Of that, about maybe 2 million in Hyderabad, about 3 million in Chennai, and then the balance in Bangalore. So currently in FY25, I'm just focusing on the... Uh, where we have the foreseeable data for. So there we are all already expecting a 60-40. And I expect this sort of a trend to possibly continue, where Bangalore will continue to be our focus market, but we are also looking to enhance our market share in uh, Chennai and Hyderabad. Uh, for the office segment, of course, Bangalore is still uh, the primary market. Again, we are looking at Chennai, Hyderabad. Uh, maybe we will start to look at more tier two cities. As I mentioned, Kochi is one of the focus uh, is a market where we're expanding. Trivandrum is also a market where we are looking to get more space. Um, and then we need to evaluate which are the other couple of tier two cities we are we are looking to uh, establish more office space. Give City, we, we already have a one building there and uh, uh, we are perhaps, we are looking at doing the second building there as well. Okay, Gift City is also getting a lot of interest. But Nirupa, before we let you go, uh, the exit rate for Q4 in terms of pre-sale was around 2200 odd crores. You clocked almost 6,000 crore in the year gone by. How's been the traction in Q1 with respect to pre-sales? And for the entire year, what should one expect? So basically, pre-sales for uh, Q1, as I mentioned, you know, Q1 is typically uh, the slowest of the quarters. Um, I think so, but this year, there have been a fewer number of launches, but um, I think in this last last month of the quarter, we are looking to launch about 2 million square feet. So that should, we are on track as per plan. But generally, even in the budget, Q1 is typically budgeted as a, a slightly slower quarter than say the last, the preceding last three quarters that we've had. So we are on track and we are uh, moving as per budget. But uh, slight, uh, slight push in the timelines for some of the launches. But like I said, whatever is planned, we will be able to launch for this quarter as well. Okay, Nirupa, on that note, we let you go. Thanks so much for making time and speaking with us today. In the